Hello everyone, in this video, I will be your guide taking you through the entire process of open source contribution from the initial selection of the issues, right uh, through crafting a solution and finally making pull request to get merged into project. So now, let's kick start this journey by discussing how to identify the right open source project for your next open source contribution. A few days back, I created this video where I discussed the strategies for finding open source projects. If you have not had a chance to watch it yet, I highly recommend you to do so and compile a list of 5-6 potential projects to consider. Now, when it comes to picking the right open source project, you should keep a few things in mind. First, make sure the project matches your skills including the programming languages and tech stack you use. Next, check the project's issues. Are there enough active issues? This is a good sign that the project is alive and well. Also, consider whether the project team is creating and managing new issues regularly or not. Last but not the least, ensure that the project has proper documentation or support for local setup. Trust me, without it, dealing with a large code base can be real headache when trying to set up it on your local machine. Okay, so now let's get into the exciting part. First thing you should need to do is familiarize yourself with the project. This means you should use the project and understand what it's do and how it's working. Once you have grasped the essence of the project, it's time to find the issues that matches your current level of understanding. So now let me illustrate you all these things with example. So when I began to contribute to this project, so I went to here in issues section and here I found this, this issue. Here they have mentioned that in expected behavior, they have mentioned that here in favorite section, they want to add drag and drop facility so that users can change the position of each favorite item. So after reading this issue entirely, I understood that here we need to add a drag and drop list in this favorite section where we can change the position by drag and drop and also for permanent changes we need to add a position in our database in this for this favorite section and we need to make a route so that we can change the position permanent and then I commented here that I am really interested in working in this issue and I can solve this so please assign me and then again I went to here in issues section and here I read many issues and in some issues where I feel that I can fix them so I commented that please assign me that issue. The key takeaway here is that you won't always understand every issue perfectly and that's completely fine. Even if you have comprehend just a part of it, it's a great starting point. Don't hesitate to comment on any issue and start working on it as you will learn more as you go. As you continue, it's good practice to look into multiple issues. Don't get overwhelmed by trying to understand the entire project at once. Instead, focus on some small uh, issues you can comprehend. Uh, so, for example, here in this issues page, we can select the good first issue label. After that, it will show us the, all the issues that are very simple and easy to solve. So, after that, you should look uh, issues that are not assigned to anyone. For example, this issue is already assigned to this person. So you should not contribute to this issue. You can read, you can understand this, but you should not contribute to this issue. And then after that, you can see that there are many issues like this one, this one. These are not, uh, these issue, issues are not assigned to anyone. So you can re read this, these issues and you can understand them. And if you feel that you can solve this issue, then you can comment on these issues that I can solve and then you can get assigned. So here you can see that this issue is assigned to me. So when I first read this issue, so it feels that I can solve this. So that's why here you can see that I commented that please assign me this issue. And after that they assigned me and then I started working on this. If any issue is assigned to someone, that means that that person is working on that issue. So that's why you should work on issues that are not assigned to any. Now let's talk about how you can solve these issues and contribute. So for fixing an issue, first you need to set up the project locally on your machine. Don't worry, it's not that complicated as it might sound. Here's what you need to do. Look for a page in the project that helps you to get the project running on your computer. This might called a contribute page or something similar to this. In my case, I found this information in here projects documentation page. So here in documentation, you can see that we have this local setup page. Here they have described everything that we need to know while while running this project in our local computer. In same way, in other projects also, you will find this docs page or you will find this contribute section. So here, you will find all, you, all things that you need to know to contribute to that, that, uh, that project. So first, you should find these details that explains how you can contribute to that project 
or uh, how you can locally set up that project so after finding the documentation you should fork this project so here you will find uh, this button fork button so click on that this action will create a copy of this project in your own profile here you can see that so here you can see that in my profile I have the copy of this project so now here I can change the code of this repository that I have forked and I can fix the issue and after fixing I can make a PR pull request I can make a PR to this project so that they can merge the code which is fixing that issue so that's why we have forked this issue now after forking we need to clone this project locally in our uh, computer so for that we need to click here on this code button so here by this URL we can clone this repository easily if you are not sure how to do this don't hesitate to ask for help on chat GPT or you can also find instruction with a quick Google search it's a common task so now this code is in our computer so it's time to run it so here they have mentioned many ways to uh, start this project locally so we will go here in this yarn setup and here they have mentioned that first we need to clone this repository so we have already done that and then again they have mentioned that for setup postgres database we need to run these commands so we can run these and then we need to copy uh, the environment variables that they have given so by the running these commands we can copy them and then they have mentioned here in server setup that by running these commands we can start the server and after that by these commands we can run the front end so with these things we can easily start this project locally if everything goes smooth and you can run this project on your computer that's fantastic but if you run into any issues or errors don't worry you can simply search on google or ask on chat gpt and if you still can't figure it out you can always reach out to the project stage once you have set up the project on your computer you are set to start contributing so that's wrap for this video in next video we will dive into solving those small issues the steps to push changes creating prs and ultimately getting our contribute contributions merged and before you go don't forget to like this video subscribe to this channel and let's connect on twitter